It's just, it's the laying down and getting up out of the bed. That's the worst for me. It's like, I'm in surgery groups and they don't talk about that part. They don't talk about the getting up and laying down and how sore you're going to be. My arms are very sore from trying to lift up my body off of the bed to get up to go pee, to do whatever. Nobody talks about that and I want to talk about it because it hurts so bad it's the worst it's like worse than the surgery pain like it just hurts like trying to get up and like it just goes to the bathroom like it just hurts it is like um 7 50 in the morning um my best friend just left to go back home to dallas so i am here by myself um i'm only here for two more days well today because the day just started tomorrow and then i leave monday night so today, what I'm going to be doing is um, I have to go to my final post-op appointment at Mia Aesthetics today, um, I guess, just for them to look at me. I don't know. So when you're here, if you don't have, like, transportation, all of the Uber drivers know what's going on. Like, they all know that girls are in Miami most of the time to get surgery. So they will let you lay down, not lay down, they will let you kneel in their seat or they'll let you kneel, like, with your feet in the floor of the back seat and your um elbows in the seat of in the back let me try to step back hopefully y'all can see me i took my phone board out that i had in last night i took it out this morning when i went to go pee like at five o'clock this morning um i don't know if y'all can see me i can't see y'all now because i have on my glasses so I, I just see the blurriness but um yeah so this is my 3, 3x Faha and um, I have bones in so it looks really big but my stomach has gone down a lot I don't know if y'all can see my butt I hope y'all have but I like my butt it's a nice size Ooh. so yeah this is me um, post-op day two um, it's my third day after surgery so um, it hurts to walk like this is how I walk like this slow and like little bitty steps because if I try to do anything faster like I'll probably pass out honestly so hopefully this pain in my arms this stiffness in my arms go away because it's taking a lot out of me up day two um so this morning after my massage um after i took my shower i took my first shower by myself um and i did not feel like hey or dizzy um my um faha that mia gave me when i first got out of surgery was a 4x it was too big which is this one um but i had to put this one back on because when i took off my faha 3x um faha I had to wash that one out with the peroxide and I let it air dry on the shower um, all day. So I like double stuff this one. Like I'm gonna take it off because I'm, I'm ready to put on my 3X Faha because I feel like this one isn't really compressing me the way that I want. So I'm gonna, um, I'm just about to basically show you guys how to compress or like if you have a, a Faha and it feels too loose or big, it's just basically showing you how to um, compress your body like what kind of foams how many foams to put in if you need to like you know stuff your faha with foams and stuff like that to compress your body the way that it's supposed to be compressed while your faha that fits is drying or while you're waiting on a stage two faha or something like that speaking of stage two faha um earlier at my post-op with mia 
They gave me this stage too, Faha. It kind of looks like this. Hopefully you guys can see. It has like a zipper on the side right here. As far as in the stage one Faha, this is a zipper right here and a zipper right here on the stage one Faha. So they gave me a stage two Faha. They said that my waist was really small, like it's been shrinking really good. So they went ahead and gave me a stage two Faha. However, I probably won't put this on until like the middle of next week when I get back home. Well, I get back home Monday. I probably won't put this on until probably like Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm ready to put on my 3X Faha because that one just feels more tight on me, like it's compressing my body more. So I just wanna show you guys me compressing my body. Okay, so first you just want to unhook the two little hooks because that's how it hooks up, you know. And then just basically unzip it, unzip it, and then it has like little hooks. Oh, I'm, I'm still kind of tender and sore, y'all. So just unhook it. You spend more time looking at it than the doctor did. Step through, please. Oof. Okay. So that's that side. I'll show y'all the foams once I get this side off. Turn around. Oh, it's like instantly you can feel like where I was compressing. It's like loose now and it feels weird. Y'all know as soon as you come out of your faha, like your body's going to swell right up. So y'all have to make sure that you got your other faha on deck. This is key. Oh, okay. So one of my fajas just fell. You're not supposed to bend over, but I need to pick this up because I need it. So, oh, I'm just gonna try to squat. There must be others. Okay. Oh, got it. So, this was in my back, like this. Like that. I have a backboard in, as you can see. Take that out. So, I have my backboard in, too, to compress my back. I have one foam on the side. On that side, then I have another foam on this side that was compressing my side so on the front i have my ab board in front of the foam so i'm going to take the ab board out and i have two foams in the front because i wanted the front obviously to compress more being that my faja is a 4x and i'm not in a 4x anymore so i needed both of the fajas to compress more i mean both of the foams to compress more so i had two foams in the front Okay, so next I'm gonna just. Oh, I have like a maxi pad on the side because I was bruising really bad on the side from the faja. You can just put those like on the inside. I have a maxi pad also in the front. So this one's kind of kind of bloody due to my um, incision. Y'all see that? I have to change that. My incision is still leaking. That's not good. Take this one out of the side, my So you, if you're if you're leaking like this, y'all, like the fluid, you have to change that. Do not leave that there because you will get an infection. Okay, so I just have like medium-sized gauze and of course the medical tape. So I have to try to tear this off. Be careful with the tape, y'all. You don't want to bruise your skin. Pacifica was good for those who follow their own path. That's living life anchors up. Okay. Or or your crispy currency to pay for bites of this. You kind of see it. With this, right there. When kids won't eat dinner, then there's one like right under right. here. When it it's not leaking as bad. Did you know that? And then there's go. one under here. It's not leaking as bad. Well. But this is my stomach. Petco, the health and wellness Day two company. post op. It's down a whole lot. Table for less. This is my Rain stomach. Brains. This is it on the side. See how it's like hanging. I only had two massages so far, so once they finish, you know, they flew it out. Anything like me? I'm flat, flat, and I'm getting a tape. Right? And then there's my booty. Look, guys, I don't even have a stand. I got a big old booty now. Hold on, is that Drake? That's right. So Drake from State Farm. That's me outside of my faja, y'all. But let me have to get it back on until my body starts swelling up. And then just take the bottom. This should be depressing now. Lift the stomach a little bit. Okay. So whenever you do take your faja off, this helps with like swelling, muscle pain, stiffness, swelling from injuries and bruising. So since my faja is off, I am going to rub some of this gel on my um, skin where it feels like stiff and sore. It's going to be cold, but you know, you want to rub that on you just so you won't feel any pain. 
or you always want to wear an undershirt tall under your thigh high. You don't want the thigh highlight like, zippers and all of that to get compressed into your skin. That ain't cute. Now I'm going to put in the thigh high on. Oof, I am doing this by myself, so it's a little hard to lift my legs. Let me see. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to compress with your thigh high on. And with your stage one thigh high, they aren't really tight, so we just wanna make sure that um, you do compress a lot, because the stage one thigh highs do not compress a lot. It will be harder though to get it on, being that mine is a 3X. Okay, so we gotta try to get this thigh high over this big old booty. <laughs> You want to pull it up the way the part and the butt, you can kind of see it's like where the compression isn't. You want to make sure that's pulled up high enough. I do my back first. It's really hard to do this by yourself, so if you have help, just that should help to help you. So I put the foam in first, I don't know what I'm thinking. So put the foam in first, you can put that sideways like this. Again, if you have someone to help you, to get them to help you, because I'm in a lot of pain trying to do this by myself. Oh, yes. Mm. Okay. So the phone is in my back, and you want to get your backboard, put it in like this, trying to like by your crack area, and just surf it on in there. You want to get your maxi pads that you had and put them back like where your incisions kind of are. So I'm gonna put these back on my sides and like going around in front of my stomach where my incisions are. And then you wanna get your phone, one of your phones, and put it on the side here. Just kind of like stuff it in there to where it'll stay. You wanna get the other one, put it on the side. Y'all can hear me. I just realized that this TV was just on and up loud. I really hope it did not mess up my video. So now you want to get a phone and put it this way. Not this way. The sides are this way. So you want to put it this way. And just stuff it on down there by like your lower stomach. Put it over the little maxi pad that you put in there. You want to make sure these connect y'all. See how that skin is right here? Because that part will be swollen. So you want to just kind of bring this over. And you want to get the other one. And put it like this. Like that. And then you want to get your ab board and put the ab board on top of these. And so with the ab board, you want to just kind of stuff it in. Like, like this. It's all the way down there where it's really compressing like, the lower part of your stomach because that's the part that's hanging that you want to really compress. So like that. And then you just put your file hat on over it and then you just fasten it up and zip it and then that's how you basically compress y'all. So. Hey y'all. So today is post-op day three for me. And my pain level is a level seven eight. Um, they say that like the stiffness and the pain is supposed to last for like one or two days. I had my surgery four days ago and I still feel stiffness all in here and in my back where I got lipo. My butt is just hard, you know, I, it, it's, it's a little tender, but there's no pain really there in my butt. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys with the pain. I am still in a lot of pain. Like, I am still in a lot of pain. Can't really see. I have my phones in, so my stomach looks super big. Hopefully it's going down a little. I get my massage in an hour. So when I get my massage, I'll update y'all with it. I believe you can sleep in your ab board and your back board, but I didn't. Um, I found that when I took the ab board and the back board out, the tightness kind of, of course, gotten a little better. It wasn't as tight. Of course, you're supposed to use those to compress, so they're doing what they're supposed to do, but I didn't want to sleep in them all night, so I took them out like at 3 o'clock in the morning. So today is Sunday. I go home tomorrow night. Okay, y'all, so I am um, packing my bag. I leave tomorrow. 
So I'm packing my bag um, now because I have a lot of errands to run tomorrow. Um, so I just want to show y'all some of the stuff that I did not end up using as far as in my supplies. These adult diapers did not use. I used only one of them and it was really pointless to use one of them. So I guess you really don't need adult diapers. I don't know. I had a lot of these doggy pads, these chuck pads left. It's a whole lot more over here. So I didn't even use a lot of those because you only leak out a lot of fluids like after the first day of surgery. So I haven't really been leaking out. Well, I haven't really leaked out at all. Um, so I have a whole lot of those chuck pads. You don't have to get a lot of those. I got washcloths like to wash me up. It's still like a whole lot on the toilet because I've been using toilet paper and baby wipes. So I got a whole brand new pack of those. I um, have, I don't know why I got two packs of these on care tablets, but I have only taken this amount of those as far as in swelling and stuff like that. Because I also have the gel. So I have a whole new brand new pack of that. I didn't use Benadryl at all. I don't even know. I don't even know why they had Benadryl on the supply list, but whatever. I didn't use stool softener. Um, I made a bowel movement on Friday, the day after surgery, and I had another bowel movement today. And those all just came naturally. I did not have to use a stool softener. I didn't use the melatonin because the um, Percocet that they give us makes us tired and sleepy. So I didn't end up using the um, melatonin either. And then I just had extra uh, medical tape, you know, for the doggy pad. So that's all the stuff that I did not end up using out of my supply list. Um, so yeah, I'm just packing my little bag now. I got like some souvenirs for my kids. My daughter loves cups, I don't know why. My older daughter, so I got her a Miami Beach, Florida cup. And um, she loves like crop top hoodie. So I got her a Miami Beach, Florida crop top hoodie. I got my baby Zoe this um, baby shark. It just says baby shark doo doo, Miami Beach. And then like the little hoodie part is a shark, which is really cute. She's gonna love that. And then I got my mom. A Miami Beach, Florida souvenir shirt. And then I got this one for my daughter at first because she likes hoodies, but she don't need two hoodies because that ain't fair. <laughs> so since I'm giving this one, the crop top one to my daughter, I'm gonna just keep this one for myself. And then I got my son a gray Miami Beach, Florida hoodie. So that's that. And yeah, I'm packing my bag now. Um, because I do have a lot of things to do tomorrow. That's what I'm doing now. So I just wanted to update you guys on what all you probably don't need to waste your money and buy as far as in supplies. Because I didn't even use a whole lot of the supplies. Or I didn't use all of them. Okay, so I will be back um, in the morning. Bye, guys. Hey, y'all. I'm in my final um, post-op appointment with Dr. Boker. Well, my final one was on Saturday. But for some reason, he wanted to see me um, today at 7 a.m. Before I went back home to Dallas. Um from Miami so I'm here to see him see what's going on and what's up um they gave me I guess a stage two faha but I don't like theirs so I'm gonna see if they can give me my money back for it because clearly I paid $120 and I don't even need the second one so I don't think they're gonna give me my money back because Mia doesn't believe in refunds but I'm still gonna ask um I'm gonna when I leave here I'm gonna go back to my room and change my clothes um, and head to my massage, my last massage with Ari and get my stomach taped. And then I am going to um, go to Pretty Girl Curves and get me a stage two Faha. Cause these stage one Fajas are not compressing me anymore. Um, I've lost too much weight. So the stage one Fajas are just too loose. So I need a stage two. Um, so it could be a little more tighter and compress my stomach and sides more. So. That's what I'm doing today before I fly back home. Yeah, I don't like my butt. It's, just, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. But I am trusting the process. But your girl is looking into a round two. Um, I don't know if I'll let Boker do my round two. Or if I'll find another doctor to do my round two. But I am thinking about a round two. But I am going to trust the process first. And give it six weeks for my butt to um, soften up and drop and um, fluff out before I make the final decision about a round two but it is up in the air because um, I feel like my butt looked better when it was swollen the first day um, now it just looks a little like too little and um, yeah I want people to know that I got a BBO that's the eyelashes for me 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah, I want, I want projections. So there's a certain look that I'm going for and I'm going to get my surgery around two until I achieve that look. So I am thinking about around two, but we'll get into that at another time. So I'm just gonna lay here and wait for Bocas to come in. I'm so sleepy. I'm ready to go home to my kids and to my bed. Okay. Do you have to take an elevator? Yes. Because we don't, we're not allowed um, to. Uh, I am on the way. To the airport. We allow any of the shuttle drivers to drop off. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah